the High Priest of the Cantus Scourge, General to the Locust Military Forces upon Ram's death. Scourge was the High Priest of the Cantus caste of the Locust Horde, a type of religion, and as the leader of the Cantus monks, Scourge would preach the religion of the Locust. The religion itself is polytheistic based, and the religion's greatest deity was of course the Rift Worm. However, they also worshipped rock worms due to the resources acquired from them, their meat and hides. Scourge, the leader of the Cantus monks, was the only one permitted to communicate with and lead the Rift Worm. This of course being a great honour only a few were ever graced with, to talk to God is not for the many. After the death of General Ram and the destruction of the Outer Hollows during the Light Mass Offensive, it was decided that the Great Rift Worm would be awakened. This then allowed Scourge the opportunity to strike back at the Serens. Scourge spoke to the God of the Locust and was able to use his Cantus speech to lead the full force of the Locust counterattack against the humans. Scourge and the Riftworm were able to sink two Seren cities, along with several Cog military bases, and it would be this counterattack that made the Cog realise that the Locust were not only not defeated, but had a way to sink Jacinto, the Cog's last fortress. Scourge, along with many others of the Locust race, were cruel towards Serens. He directed Locust forces to capture and torture Gears and the Stranded and he personally partook in the torture of several. Being the leader of the Cantus, Scourge wore a different helmet and armour than his subordinates. His helmet was more of a headdress with reddish-brown leather straps. This, of course, gave the appearance of dreadlocks, this being entirely opposite to the crown-like helmets the normal Cantus wear. His armour did not entail the twin bands of cloth of the regular Cantus, but instead consisted of spiked armour plates on his forearms and thighs, giving him a more menacing and monstrous look. He also wore armour on his chest, leaving most of the torso bare. Along with this, Scourge also owned a dual chainsaw staff, which was so strong he was able to destroy a centaur tank single-handedly. To the Locust, Scourge is the equivalent of a Pope or other prominent religious figure, where the Cantus are treated as priests and the Rift Worms as gods. Scourge would be remembered by Marcus Phoenix as being one of the most ferocious enemies that he and his squad had ever faced. During the Lambent pandemic, after being contacted by Dizzy that Myra was taking Griffin Tower, Marcus reassured his friends that Dizzy would be okay and that he had survived worse, like his encounter with Scourge at Landown. And on another occasion, after Delta found Dizzy single-handedly fighting a massive number of Queen's Guard, Dizzy joked that he should have learned his lesson about taking on more than he could handle from fighting Scourge single-handedly. Interestingly, the design of Scourge is actually based on the Predator, another character I cover extensively here on my channel. Scourge was an interesting addition to the mythos and a worthy follow-up from General Ram. Of course, he didn't quite have the impact, I believe, as General Ram, but what can you do with a follow-up enemy? So please do let me know all your thoughts on Scourge down below in the comment section, and of course, if there is anything else you would like me to explore in movies, games, or myth, please do leave your suggestions below. Anyway, and as always, let me know everything down below in the comment section, and moving forwards for Gears of War content, stick with me, Mr. H. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay notified of all my future content. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving it a like, as it really does help the channel out. I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I will catch you in the comment section.